All right, folks, Rolla Martin here. We are in Los Angeles at the Egyptian Theater uh, where uh, Netflix has their uh, red carpet, their premiere of the movie starring Regina King called Shirley. It's based upon the life of Congresswoman Shirley Chisholm, uh, of course, a history-making member of Congress. Uh, she was, of course, uh, elected uh, to Congress uh, and was the first, uh, the first African-American woman elected uh, to Congress since Reconstruction. Uh, Barbara Jordan, of course, was the first uh, black woman from the South uh, who was elected uh, to uh, to Congress. And so uh, that's why we are here. So we're going to be chatting with the folks uh, who are uh, up and down uh, the um, uh, up and down uh, the, the line here who was starting the movie. Uh, Michael, how you doing? Step on over. How you doing? You all good? Likewise, likewise. Uh, this, of course, uh, of course, that was a documentary done on Shirley Chisholm a few years ago. Uh, but for to get the movie treatment uh, is, is a whole different uh, thing. So uh, just share your thoughts about being in this uh, history-making movie. I uh, just feel really uh, fortunate. Um, I feel honored to be, you know, uh, asked to share this story, to tell this story, this very important story of this um, African-American woman. It's Caribbean African yeah, absolutely absolutely woman um, yeah, and and how she just opened doors for for people of color for women uh, for you know and how she fought that 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 fight that 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 fight of the end you know so important for folks who don't know uh, talk about uh, your flag <laughs> yes well I am from Trinidad and Tobago uh, it's it's in the Caribbean. Um, it's not 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 far from Barbados, where um, Shirley spent uh, a lot of her formative years, and um, and yeah, I, I I I was I was handpicked by by Regina and John uh, to to play Conrad, you know, who himself was from the Caribbean. He was Jamaican, you know. So well, one of the things a lot of people don't understand, I mean, you have a significant um, black immigrant population there in New York. Uh, you could talk about Shirley Chisholm. You could talk about Stokely Carmichael, Kwame Ture. You could talk about Colin Powell, Harry Belafonte, uh, Sidney Portier, the list goes on, uh, who came here but who also had to, one, learn about the African-American experience, but then also realized that it was still – you know, still similar to what they had to deal with with, 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 with colonialism. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, in, in a sense, there's a, a, a Caleb Sonian, uh from Trinidad said, you know, we, we all made the same trip on the same ship. Um, you know, different, we had, you know, of course, different experiences. Some folks just got dropped off a little bit earlier. Some, exactly, exactly, you know, and, uh, and, and some went to bigger spaces and, uh, as opposed to the Caribbean, just small spaces. Um, but you know, we, uh, we 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 we've all had that narrative these past you know few hundred years, and um, you know uh, just celebrating the similarities, you know, as you know, as opposed to the differences. How much did you know about her prior to doing this movie? I did not know about Shirley Chisholm. So did, did did you go on this sort of yeah, research? research? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to do yeah research and. And actually, some members of my family remembered her. He's like, you know, this woman who ran for the presidency in '72. You know, there yeah. wouldn't be a, a Barack Obama. There wouldn't be a, a um, Hillary Rodham, Rodham Clinton. It wouldn't be Kamala Harris without, you know, uh, Shirley Chisholm. You know, so she was a trailblazer. She was, you know, an amazing trailblazer. Right, and then. just honored to, you know, be a part of the story. All right, sounds great. I appreciate it. All right, All right thanks a bunch. All right, take care. All right, then. Uh, so, um, again, folks, uh, so one of the things that Michael talked about uh, was Congresswoman Shirley Chisholm running for president in 1972. Uh, but here's one of the interesting things that people don't realize. So there was, there was the black political convention, the black national political convention in Gary, Indiana, in 1972. And you got to remember, this is four years after Dr. King was assassinated. Uh, and there were a number, there were a number of people, a number of men at that at that political convention who would not support uh, Shirley Chisholm running uh, for president. A lot of African American men. Uh, and so here you have this uh, national political convention. Uh, and at that convention, uh, they were talking about drafting others to run, and it was Shirley Chisholm uh, who actually ran. 
Uh, and so not only does she have to deal with the reality of racism, also have to deal with the reality of sexism, not just from white men, but also from black men as well. Uh, and so uh, that that's a part of her story. When you talk to, and, and on the list, of course, Congresswoman Barbara Lee is supposed to be here. Uh, when you talk to others as well uh the thing is uh you know those women uh during that period uh they understood that so whether you're talking about congresswoman uh maxine waters congresswoman barbara lee you're talking about many of them that's what you actually have to deal with and so uh in a second in in, in, a, in a second in a second we're going to chat with um uh, uh, Nisi Nash, and uh, of course, who just uh, arrived here as well. So look forward to uh, to chatting with her uh, as well. You know, this is uh, and so uh, again, this this is a r- really important movie. Uh, like I say, I've I've, I've read about uh, Shirley Chisholm uh, for years. Uh, I've talked to her uh, on many. Uh, excuse me, not talked to. In fact, I tried to interview Shirley Chisholm. Uh, when Obama was running for president, I would reached out uh, to the office. Uh, she, at the time, she was retired uh, in Florida. Uh, she wasn't doing any interviews, and so I really hate that I didn't get a chance to actually uh, interview Shirley Chisholm. I uh, did get a chance to interview Barbara Jordan once uh, when Thurgood Marshall died. Uh, and so, it, so you know, when you have an opportunity uh, to encounter those history makers, uh, it's always great to do so. Uh, so I never, I never uh, take it lightly when uh, we, we sort of get to cross those paths uh, with those trailblazers. And so uh, that was always something that I think was important for me. So just let y'all know. So, all right, folks. So we're going to be uh, in a second again uh, chatting here uh, with uh, with Nisi Nash right here. Uh, and so uh, Nisi, Nisi is here with uh, her spouse, uh, Jessica Betts. And some of y'all may not realize this, but I ran a Chicago Defender. I created uh, a magazine called All of That, and I actually put the first issue, I put Jessica on the cover. Uh, and so uh, we're going to uh, chat with her uh, in a second. And so, uh, look, so, look, so look, for, look forward to that. So, um, so we're going to so grab her in a second. What's happening? What's happening? What's going on? I'm just chilling. How you doing, kid? You know, just, you know, I can't, I, I can't come out here regular. Oh, listen. Last time I saw you online, baby, you was letting them have it. You was doing all well, You know, I mean, that's how, that, that's, that's, that's how that's alphas roll. You know, we got we to gotta show him who's king. I saw you. Cutting up. Let's talk, let's talk about Shirley. Uh, first of all, Congresswoman Shirley Chisholm was, was an amazing woman. Uh, and um, they've already put course of the trail out, and Regina just embodied her in every way. I cannot wait to see this performance. I love Regina so much. We definitely wanted to come out and support her tonight. Um, I, I was a part of another project where Uzo played her, and, you know, it, she's just such a prolific character in our history. Um yeah, I mean, you know, Regina, Shirley, where else would we be on a Tuesday night except for right here? Well, and one of the things uh, before uh, you came over, I was telling people uh, that not only did she have to deal with, of course, racism, racism being the first black woman elected to Congress since Reconstruction, uh, she also had to deal with sexism even from black men because when she decided to run for president, they had a meeting in Gary, Indiana, the Black Political Convention, and the black men didn't want her to run. They were trying to draft a brother to run. And so she was. So she was taking. Uh, she was taking arrows from all sides. Well, and you know, it, a lot of women still are in that situation today. You know what I mean? But we look at people like her to, as a guiding light, in the space. You know, to say if she can, I can. So we pull up and we push through, and we don't look like what we're going through. Jessica, any thoughts on Shirley Chisholm? I'm just happy to be here and happy to support these black beautiful women. Yes, right. All right, cool. All right, I'm looking forward to seeing the movie as well. So good seeing you. All right, take care. How you doing? Uh huh. Come on up. How you doing, Roland Martin? How you doing? All good. Uh, prior to this, what did you know about Shirley Chisholm? Hmm? I said prior to this, what did you what, what did you know about Shirley Chisholm? Um, and uh, after learning about her, what what do you think of her? I knew who she was. I knew that she was a congresswoman. I knew she ran for president. Um, I didn't know how much opposition she faced. And I learned how how much she persevered and how much she would not give up. 
and, and again, a lot of people, when you think about that time, one year t- when she was her president, four years after King was assassinated, you still have the women's movement. You have all that's going on. So it was a whole lot that, that was happening. And so she was bat- battling multiple forces, uh, white and black. It's, um, she went ahead and did it because somebody needed to do it. She wasn't waiting for somebody to um, support. And I think that was the most important thing. But also, she was incredibly capable. I believe that had she been allowed to debate, she would have garnered more support. So I think that'll be the thing that people will see is that she was that close to getting a little bit further. Last question. Uh, Obviously, there's a documentary that was done on her a few years ago uh, that I saw. Well, the thing here is that a whole new generation gets to learn about her. What do you hope they come away with? How much power you have and what you can do with it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks so much. Absolutely. Absolutely. So uh folks are heading heading their heading their way in. So uh, Lisa Lisa Vidal is right here. Of course. So we're gonna chat chat with her when she gets done with the photos. Last time I saw you were on the dance floor of the George Lopez Golf That's Tournament. Right. What's happening? That's right. I'm good. I'm good. How are you? All good. All good. So you came out here on this Tuesday night. Why? Um, Regina King, my girl, my sister. I'm here to support her. And um, I, I can't wait to see this amazing movie. I know her performance is just going to be incredible. So I'm here to support my peeps. Uh, I, was, uh, I was having drinks the other day with someone, and they were like, Wait a minute! I don't really think she could play. She, I don't think she even looks like Shirley Chisholm. I'm going, are you out of your mind? I'm like, did you actually see? She had no idea what the heck she's talking about. And I'm like, no. I'm like, no. She bodied this. Yes, she really did. She really did. And I mean, I, I just I saw a little bit of it, and I spoke to her while she was shooting it, and it was just like she's like just this different person, you know. I mean, that's Regina though. Like she really kind of embodies the whole character. So. It's going to be exciting. No, absolutely. And also, I think what is what is great uh, is that, one, she got to take off. She didn't have to direct this one, so she just had to star in it. Uh, but she's been doing an amazing job, again, in front of the camera, but really behind the camera as well. Yeah, she's amazing. Her and her sister, Raina, too, they're producing. They're kicking booty. Like, I mean, she's just so incredible. She's, like, always impressive to me, just everything about her and her exquisite sense of who she is and her talent she's just the perfect combination of just stellar hollywood star <laughs> well look i uh i'll be back next month for georgia's tournament so uh maybe we'll see you on the dance floor again oh we're gonna dance <laughs> i love you I, you look great by the way i appreciate it always good to see you, to see you. i appreciate thank it thanks so much all right thank you how you doing, doing, doing? roland martin well, michelle, Heard. michelle good to see you as well I'm just, you know, I, I, I had to come out. It you know, couldn't be regular. <laughs> Why are we going to be regular? Why are we going to be regular? We're not regular. No, can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. Uh, let's talk about uh, not just the movie, but the woman herself, uh, Shirley Chisholm. We're here because of her, right? I mean, she's been an amazing force in all of the civil rights. And, and you know, we're all, I feel like I walk on the shoulders of, I was going to say backs of, shoulders of all the people come before us. I was just doing a little trek thing because of Michelle Nichols, you know, standing with Stephanie Reddick, with uh, Lance Reddick's uh, uh, widow. There's so many of us, you know, that have made such systemic change in this world. There was somebody who once actually said that the moral compass of this world has been always moved on the backs of women of color. And that is the truth. And uh, I'm honored to support. And, and also, Regina. Come on. Regina. Well, one of the things uh, when you talk about uh, uh, Chisholm, uh, a lot of people don't realize, one, when she comes into Congress, that's that's the beginning of the Congressional Black Caucus. Yeah. Today, it is now the largest group among Democrats, largest caucus in the Dem- in Democratic House. Wow, I don't think I knew that. Yeah. 
It's the largest and still. Matter of fact, after by November, if certain elections go away, they will actually exceed 60 members. Are you serious? It's at 58 or 59 right now. That is phenomenal. I did not know that. Thank you for telling me that. And still, we need to build more. (laughs) But but we're there. We're in the room, and that's what's the most important thing. That's amazing. Thank you, Shirley. Thank you for that. She was again. They they were that they were that that first group. First group. Her, Ron Dellums, John Conyers, Charlie Rango. That was the first group. Yes, amazing, amazing, and we're building on that. We continue yeah. to build on that. Indeed. Good seeing you. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. All right, take care. All right, folks. So we're seeing others here. Wait a minute. Where did she go? Um, Congresswoman Barbara Lee. Uh, she's here. Of course, uh, she um, knew Shirley Chisholm uh, because she was a staffer. Uh, she was a staffer for. Um, she was a staffer for uh, Congressman Ron Dellums, uh, and he and Shirley Chisholm, Congresswoman Shirley Chisholm, uh, were very close. We're very, we're very, we're very much uh, involved, and so, uh, so she's got lots of uh, Shirley Chisholm stories, and so I see her over there, and so I can't wait to get an opportunity uh, to chat with her, talk up, talk to her about this movie, about about Congresswoman Shirley Chisholm uh, getting the, uh, the the big treatment, and so. Uh, like I said, you got different people who are coming through now. Uh, I see uh, 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 Keisha Knight Pulliam, uh, who's over here as well. And so, uh, and like I said, Congresswoman Barbara Lee. Uh, you've got, uh, of course, uh, John Ritley. He was a director uh, of this movie. And so we're looking forward to uh, the chat with him uh, as well. Uh, we got McKissick, uh, who plays uh, in this movie as well. Uh, and so, uh, so, so many different people. Uh, Brian Stokes Mitchell, uh, who plays uh, Stanley Towson. Yeah, Dorian, Dorian Missick, uh, he actually plays Congress, Congressman uh, Ron Dellums. And so, uh, and of course, a little bit earlier, we talked with Christina Jackson. She plays Congresswoman Barbara Lee uh, in this movie. And so, uh, looking forward to uh, to chatting with, with all uh, of them in, uh, in a second. So, uh, that's what we're lo- looking to do. So, uh, like I said, this, I, I really... One, I think this, this is going to be a, a phenomenal movie. Uh, if you look at many of historical figures, uh, that was a Showtime movie uh, that was done on uh, Congressman Adam Clayton Powell. So he got the treatment. Uh, when you think about many of our other history makers, there's never been a movie about Barbara Jordan. Uh, Ralph Metcalf. Uh, who uh, was uh, second to Jesse Owens, 1936 Olympics. Ralph Metcalf was a member of Congress from Chicago. But Oscar DePriest was before him, who came from Chicago as well. Story not being told. Uh, I tell you one story that uh, absolutely needs to be uh, told. It's about Robert Smalls uh, from South Carolina, the brother who commandeered a ship, freed his people, later became a state legislator. Um, Congressman uh, Jim Clyburn always talks about him. I mean, his story is absolutely amazing. So there's so many, there's so many stories that we can talk about uh, of African Americans that oftentimes don't get discussed, uh, that don't get talked about, and so uh, all of those uh, abs- absolutely matter. And so you know, I just think they all matter. So if we're able to, um, and again, so Netflix does this, uh, but look, you've got a lot of um, uh, black-owned outlets as well that are telling these stories, that are speaking uh, speaking to these stories, and so. Uh, you know, we want to be able to tell uh, all of them, and so that's what we want to do. Well, this is Janelle James, who is uh, over my shoulder right here. She was uh, on the carpet, uh, and so uh, as I say, uh, there are others who are now coming. This thing is picking up, so we're looking forward to that uh, and chatting with some folks. Uh, and so, uh, again, uh, as I'm looking uh, down the carpet, uh, I'm seeing some other people uh, who uh, who are coming here, and so. That's what's happening. So, so I'm going to quickly grab Janelle. Then I'm going to grab Keisha and I pull him. Janelle, Janelle, how you doing? All right. So there's Keisha and I pull him here. Brad James here uh, on the carpet. So uh, get a shot of them. Uh, they are here. Folks are coming through. Uh, Brad James uh, plays uh, Huey Newton in this movie. Uh, and so uh, look forward to chatting with him. Yeah, 
So we're going to um, so we'll chat with Brad and Keisha after they uh, take uh, this photo here. Then the coming man Kissick is over here. We'll chat with him next. Right, after I get grabbed by Brad. So, yeah. How you doing? All good? All good seeing you? Yes, yeah, always good to see you. How you doing? You all good? Look me in the eye. What's your name? Ella. What, good to see you. All right, then. <laughs> yeah, who, who, who'd you bring with you? Malia. All right, then. So, you, so you, brought, you brought your own guest. All right. But she don't need a ticket. Uh, let's, 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 let's talk about uh, this film, uh, the character you play. Uh, it, it was an interesting time uh, in America. You're coming out of the civil rights movement. You've got the black power movement. You've got the feminist movement. All those things are happening uh, at one time. Yeah. The, you know, 1972 was a, you know, a special year uh, for a lot of reasons. And, you know, when you play someone who's just iconic and that you have so much respect for, you know, you want to make sure you come across and, and, and do it in the right way. And just, you know, watching Regina do her thing, you know, made all the difference. Prior to this, what was your perspective or knowledge about uh, Congresswoman Shirley Chisholm? You know, it was it, honestly pretty surface. So that's why it's important for projects like this to get made. Because, you know, when, when people who are uh, as talented as John Ridley get, you know, get his pin out and starts to work on doing something like this, he gets the details that get missed, the nuances that get missed, and all the important things that, uh, you know, just these periods in history get glazed over. Absolutely. What's happening? Hello. How are you? Good. How you doing? I'm so well. So well, it's yes. So good. Thank you, baby. Thank you. You too. You too. <laughs> out, here, out here representing for Spelman, the Deltas, all that good stuff. Right. Uh, just uh, your thoughts, reflections about Congresswoman Shirley Chisholm. You know, I'm so happy that this story is being told. You know, it is giving our history to a whole new generation, um, you know, who would have never known who she was without this movie. And it's reaching households around the world. And that's just so very important because who is Shirley Chisholm, my love? She's the first black woman to what? Run for president. And she's a member of what? Delta Sigma Theta. That's right. <laughs> Delta's in the house. Really. Absolutely. So, you know, it's an opportunity to sit down with your family to, you know, discuss the magic. You know, because what she did, even though she didn't win, was she showed that any and everything is possible for little girls even like this today. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Looking forward to it. I appreciate it. Good seeing you. All right. Thanks a bunch. All right, then. So, uh, folks are coming through. Uh, Brian Stokes Mitchell there. Uh, I'm going to chat with my man here next. Uh, of course, uh, uh, Dorian. Uh, look forward to uh, grabbing him. Congressman Shirley Chisholm, hugely historical figure. A lot of people had no idea even existed. I knew she existed because I'm old enough that I, I was around when she was running. So uh, I knew about her existence. I think most black families at that time knew about her and was cheering her on and, and hoping, you know, for the best. Although we knew what how hard it was. And now I think one of the things that the, the film gets into is that we appreciate she she's doing it for bigger reasons, you know. Yes, maybe she could win, but she also knew that she was breaking the glass ceiling and breaking, uh, breaking the ceiling for a lot of people. Yep. You know, and I, I'm also reminding people, people talk about, of course, Obama winning, but if Reverend Jackson doesn't change the rules after 88, Obama doesn't win. Reverend Jackson, his run set up by Shirley Chisholm's run. So there's a continuum in black politics. Absolutely, and I think that's why she did it. And that's why, especially, I think that's the legacy that she, she left. And she may not have known it going in, but I think that was one of the things that became very, very important, is the legacy that she left and, and the way that she opened the door for so many people and inspired so many people as well. And it's all about hard work, and it's all about following your dream, and it's all about getting people behind you, and it's all about doing what your heart says is right. You know, she talked about the Chisholm Trail, which is her way of doing things, you know. Do it, do it the way you, you, you think is right. Um, that you need to follow your path is really basically what that the Chisholm Trail is about, I think. Absolutely. All right. Looking forward to it. I appreciate it. Thanks so much. All right. Good seeing you. Take care. Um, I'm going to grab Dorian in a second. How you doing? You all good? Of course. 
Of course, of course, of course I can. I'm, of course I'm gonna talk to her. What's happening? How you doing? Yeah, how are you doing? Uh, you look like you and I got the memo in terms of what we're going to wear. Come on, this is a significant event now. Come on, we got to honor our sister, our friend Shirley Chisholm. I'll tell you, long overdue. And I'm so excited. Uh, how do you feel to see finally this story being told? Uh, because when you think about so many of our black politicians, very few, I mean, that was a, it was a Showtime movie with Adam Clayton Powell. There are very, very few of our folks uh, who are in politics. Well, you, you know, that's how I got involved in politics, uh, was through Shirley Chisholm's presidential campaign. And uh, now, fast forward to today, there's so many people who don't know her. And today I was thinking about that. How can anyone not know who Shirley Chisholm was, her legacy, who she was as an elected official, first black woman elected to Congress to run for the presidency, first woman to run for president. Also her agenda, as she was a progressive black woman. She was early on uh, the board of uh, the National Association of uh, Reproductive Rights. Uh, she was uh, spoke fluent Spanish. You know, she taught, she was against the Vietnam War. I mean, this woman was amazing. She was far ahead of her time. And so the timing of this film can't be better time. Which group, she also was a co-founder of, uh, okay, I keep getting them mixed. There are two groups. There's a Dorothy Hyde group, uh, National Council of, uh, oh man, what's the group? Council of uh, Black Women NC. NCNW, National yes, Council. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. I always keep, 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 keep getting confused. Uh, but not only those things that she did. Um, talk about from your perspective uh, of, again, uh, seeing her, seeing her in action. Seeing her in action gave uh, myself a lot of confidence that black women can lead. Uh, she was empowering. I mean, she cared about people and she was very smart, but she always uh, cared about people who she was trying to educate, first of all, about the importance of the political process. And uh, she was a very sensitive woman, though, and I've seen her uh, behind closed doors when she cried a lot. She was very vulnerable in many respects. So she uh, demonstrated that tough love uh, and that brilliance. But she was a very compassionate and passionate uh, and sensitive woman. I, I reminded somebody earlier, I was talking to telling the audience, that uh, that 1972 convention in Gary, a lot of folks don't realize they were not embracing her. They were trying to draft a man to run. I was there, and let me tell you, uh, I was there trying to get Shirley Chisholm the endorsement. And I'll never forget uh, the difficulties we had. And so, for some reason, my sister and I decided we were going to get some T-shirts, and we wore them on the floor of the convention. And Jet Magazine took a picture of us and said, get your S together. <laughs> And it was a jet, and that was the point. We wanted people to come out of that convention, these delegates, supporting Shirley Chisholm. So I mean, here you had this black political convention. Uh, you were four years removed from King's assassination. And here you have these black men who don't want to support their sister, and she had already announced. Yeah, and uh, it was just, to me, I couldn't quite understand it because uh, she was the first black woman elected to Congress, so she knew what she was doing. She had more experience, first of all, than anybody at that convention. And secondly, she wanted to unify the black community and unify people in this country who were shut out. And she understood what coalition politics was. And she understood, though, that we had to be black and proud and unbought and unbossed in order to bring people along to have a larger uh, multiracial, multigenerational coalition. And so she uh, knew, though, <laughs> in the film, I think, kind of shows that interaction, what the deal was. But I was there, boy, let me tell you, I wanted her there. I was fighting. I wore my T-shirt. I said, no, uh-uh. And uh, myself and the delegates from the from Northern California, those who were of us who were active, went there determined. Uh, she was so you, of course, were on the staff of Congressman Ron Dellums. Uh, 
uh, and this man here plays Ron Dellums uh, in the movie. So what? So what kind of a? So what kind of a lesson that you have to t teach him uh, about your former boss? Well, first Shirley Chisholm had to teach me a lesson, and she had to tell me, Barbara, this is politics. Barbara, little girl, she the day she died called me little girl. She said, tell my brother to come home. It's for him. He, I forgive him. I understand what he went through. And of course, she had to work on me. But finally she did. And, and I understood what real loyalty and what true love and what real uh, friendship meant because she showed me because I was upset. I was upset when she went to see George Wallace. I was mad. I wanted to leave the campaign. But I have to tell you, uh, at that convention, I was really uh, shattered. My, my dreams, my aspirations, my idealism. But Shirley brought me back. And here she was the one. And she brought me back to where I ended up working for Ron Dellums as an intern. I worked for him for 11 years. He was my best friend. He was close to Shirley, as Maria can tell you. Uh, he loved Shirley Chisholm. And uh, this man was a statesman. You knew Ron, and you know how close we were. And I managed his office, and I've seen him through all kinds of crap. And he stood tall. First chair of the Armed Services Committee. He taught me everything about the defense budget. I mean, he was, and you you really played this role quite well. You, you were Ron in that, in that movie. That's the biggest compliment I can get. I really appreciate that. Really? Uh. <laughs> The only thing is you're not an alpha man like Ron. Uh, but, <laughs> see, Ron's my alpha brother, so, you know. Now, now, now uh, look, he was an iconic figure. So how did you prepare for that role? Well, I mean, like you said, he was an iconic figure. So there was so much footage to kind of reach from. I started with his book. And then um, from there, I just started looking up stuff and seeing speeches and videos of his, interviews of his and I mean, it was a it's a wonderful journey because Ron is an incredible guy, and so to go down that rabbit hole, so to speak, and really like listen to him speak and watch him develop as a speaker over years and years and years, it was just it was like going back to college. He never used a note when Ron spoke. Ron would, and I remember one time he wanted me to represent him at a conference in Mexico, in uh, uh, I think it was Me Ciudad de Mexico, and uh, I said, no, I can't do that, Ron. I can't represent you and speak at this major conference. I think Angela Davis was there. He said, why not? And he sat me down in his office. He said, look, you know more than what you're going to, the audience knows. This is what you have to do. This is just how you think about that. He said, and relax. He said, because you know this. And I got to, me <laughs> I got down there and believe you me, his words came back and I, he said, I did great. Everyone told him that that was a wonderful speech I gave, but I was so nervous. I was representing him first of all, but then giving the speech. Because, you know me, I like my little talking points, so I don't ramble and go off script. And he he was so brilliant with his uh, oratory skills that I always felt like there was no way I could do that. I want to get your thoughts again on, on this now being made a story for all to see across the world. I am so humbled and honored right now. Um, it's been a long time coming. And just to have her story told the right way, the most poignant way that can be I'm so blessed and couldn't have come at a better time as this with all the turmoil our country is in right now and to have young people to come out and see this that is my biggest fight to have young people to come out and see it so I'm just elated you know being her goddaughter it just it's a whole new thing I'm just so happy this is just the beginning final thoughts for you go see the movie go see the movie get galvanized get out and vote right yeah. Right. I appreciate it. Let me conclude by saying one thing. I want to uh, just say a couple things about Regina. What a, an unbelievable, brilliant actress she is. She embodied not only Shirley Chisholm's uh, oratory skills, her accent, her persona, but her spirit. And also, I have to just salute uh, Christina Jackson. For me to meet someone playing me, it was like meeting me, me meeting me. And she did a wonderful job as Barbara Lee in the movie. <laughs> Congressman, always good to see you. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, great stuff there from Congresswoman. Uh, this. Uh, oh, okay. Well, this is all right. So uh, we get Congresswoman. Well, I still call her Congresswoman Karen Bass. She's now Mayor Karen, Karen Bass. And so we're gonna grab her in a second here. So. 
So got Mayor Karen Baz, uh, Director uh, John Ridley over here as well. Uh, and so uh, these two, of course, serve time in Congress. And so uh, they are uh, enjoy, in, enjoy, enjoying that moment. So uh, let's see here. Where did John? Okay, John, if I can get John. Hey, John. Hey, John. So we're gonna get just get a shot there, of course. Uh, those two. So I'm just waiting on uh, John Ridley to come on, to, to come on down. Just so. And ladies, right here, please for me. Huh? Yeah, I'm going to grab. Um, I'm about to grab a mayor first here. Okay, like that. She was letting them know. Okay. I was sitting there. I kept saying Congresswoman Karen Bass. I'm used to saying that, but it's mayor. But how you doing? I'm doing just great. I'm doing great. Very excited about this movie, and I'm excited to see young Barbara Lee. <laughs> Uh, so many people. Um, it's amazing how many people know about Barbara Jordan, but don't know that Shirley Chisholm preceded Barbara Jordan in yeah, Congress. That's right. That's right. Well, you know, I grew up watching her and was inspired. And, you know, when you see people like that as a child and then you never imagine that I would be serving in the same institution as she did and a member of the Congressional Black Caucus. And for folks who don't know, uh, I mean, her name not only still resonates among the CBC, but especially among every female CBC member. Absolutely. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, we honor her every single year. And, uh, you know, she laid the groundwork for those of us that came after her. And uh, just very proud and very excited that Netflix would make a movie like this. All right, then. Always good to see you. I appreciate it. Thanks a bunch. All right, folks, uh, so uh, in a second, we'll be chatting with uh, Director John Ridley. Uh, Regina King uh, is here. Uh, I'm going to try to grab uh, Vivica Fox uh, to get a quick word from her as well. Uh, so just waiting for that. And then uh, we're going to head inside to actually uh, watch the film. So we'll do that in just in just a second here. Um Vivica? 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 So listen, child, okay? I was trying to catch him at the Image Awards to say, hey, oh, dang, we on TV, we on be it's, it's all good, go ahead. Okay. But, and, because I was, they had me in the wrong seat. And I was I know like, you right across. <laughs> I got you. So then they rushed me to go to my seat. So, it's hey. All good. <laughs> good seeing you. It's all good. Good seeing you too, brother. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, Congresswoman Shirley Chisholm, uh, amazing woman, finally gets the big treatment. Yes, finally. And what other queen of a king to bring it to the silver screen than Regina King? Absolutely. And I'm so proud of my girl. I mean, <sighs> I love nights like tonight. I love the magic of making movies. And I'm just so proud to see a sister. Because, see, I believe our stories are for us and by us, and that's when they're told correctly. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. We're looking forward to it. I can't wait to see how John directed this, how she, how she starred in it. Yeah. Uh, and for me, being a political person, a history buff, it's also great to see uh, this this toll and unfold. Yes. I mean, this has been a passion of Regina for a long time coming. And the fact that a lot of us didn't know about Shirley Chisholm, I believe that the education of what we're going to be able to teach Generation Next about how important it is to be involved in politics, especially at a time like right now. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right. Good seeing you. you too. I appreciate right, it. Now, Thanks so much, darling. Right. All right. So as you see, folks, uh, you've got uh, 
Raina King, uh, Regina King's sister. She's producer of the film. Regina King, of course, herself. And then, of course, uh, John Ridley. He is the director uh, of the film. And then, guys, keep that coming all the way down to the left. John Ridley. All right. So uh, these are going to be our last two interviews. And so... Uh, There you go. All right, folks. Regina? John? So John said he's uh, so he's coming back, so we're going to um, uh, grab him. So the screen is going to be starting shortly, folks. Uh, again, I'm trying to think. I think I grabbed everybody I wanted to grab, so uh, we've done that. So, again, waiting to uh, chat with Raina, Regina, as well as uh, John Reilly. Raina? <laughs> How you doing? You. Well, you know, look, look at this. She was a special woman, so you got to. And, and she was all put together. You are very all put together. You're giving it Shirley vibes. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Well, see, I'm from Houston, so uh, I I grew up Barbara Jordan, but they but the, 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 they they were there together giving them hell. Exactly. Exactly. Yes, absolutely. they were. Yes, they were. Uh, how long have y'all been trying to do this story? This has been 15 years. 15, 15 years. 15 years. So this has been a long road well traveled and worth every minute of it did it go through all d different folk diff a lot of pivots <laughs> a lot of pivots but i'm a firm believer in timing and this was the right time for many many reasons and that's being partners with netflix and having not just bringing shirley to the country but to the world on a global platform um her name should not be forgotten at this point Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and 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 that's the thing a lot of people don't understand. The stuff all the stuff one goes through to when they finally actually see it, they don't realize that backstory. That backstory is something. Wait, that backstory is a movie into itself. It, it, the making of. Is that what's next? The making of. Yeah. The scenes of Shirley. Yeah. The backstory is is something, and um, you know, it's like a puzzle piece, and putting the puzzle together. And, you know, sometimes, you know, we have a lot of things going on, so we have to stop at a place and, and, and then, okay, we pick it back up again, and then we stop again, we pick it back up again. But it's been one of our first projects that we talked about when we started our production company. And 15 years, um, sometimes it doesn't happen. So to see it come to fruition, and this is for Shirley, uh, it's a beautiful thing. Right, Can't wait to see it. Thank you. All Thank right. you. I appreciate it. Thanks a bunch. All right, folks. So we're going to grab Regina in a second. We're going to talk to John Ridley, and then we will be done. Uh, so I can't wait. Looks like they're going to take a whole uh, group cast, a group photo. Uh, so, so I'm. Regina? Okay, got it. Okay, got it. What's up, man? I'm chilling. All right, y'all. So you see Kevin Frazier here. He know I don't come out for this stuff often. That's what I'm saying. What you doing on the red carpet, man? What well, you, you doing know, uh, this is Shirley Chisholm. I I know, and she is something else. I mean, look. I don't I, 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 I don't, do, I don't do regular movies. I know you don't. Prince Nassim out here looking at Look, got on his golden guard. I can't be regular. No, I know you're not a reg you're not a regular dude. This is not a regular dude, and it's not a regular night though. And it's important that we celebrate Shirley Chisholm. Absolutely. And what you know what you learned? Shirley had a spicy side to her. I didn't know that. Oh, dude. I didn't know. I didn't know. Oh, right. Right. Between her and Barbara Jordan. Come on. But I'm like Shirley. Yes. Okay. And so I love that part that we. But well, she's an island woman. 
Yes, and you get the accent, which Regina did a great job. And for Regina to push through and do this movie with all that was going on in her world, it's why she's special. She yep. is a queen. Her last name is King, but she is a queen, and she's one of the best in the business and deserves to be celebrated at every turn. Absolutely. How you get in front of me, though? Come on. Hey, nobody's ever in front of us. I just want to say, no one is ever in front of us. So why are you in front of us? Because you, you, you forgot what my name is. How? You forgot who I am. <laughs> see everybody else stuff. The king of Zabunda gets let, the first see, spot. See, let me <laughs> see. <laughs> see, let me explain. Let me explain something, to Kevin. Everybody else stuff got the company name. My shit got my name. Oh, okay. You go. know, <laughs> you ain't got no sense. You ain't got no sense. Done. See what happened to let black people on the red carpet. See what y'all see. Last time I saw you. Uh, E O C. It was ELC. No, last time I saw you was in Alabama. Yeah, last no, time you saw me was, I saw e was in Jackson, Mississippi. Last time I saw you was in Jackson, Mississippi. No, it was an ELC dinner. It was ELC. It was ELC. <laughs> see, y'all, his, me his memory is, is faulty. No, it was it, when you ELC the ELC dinner. When I showed up with no ticket. See, let me explain something to you. See, see, see. See, let me explain something to you. When, when you let me explain something. When you're rolling, Martin, you can show up with no ticket. Yo, you got to be on your spot. I am. It's right there. It's right there. So Scott was like, Scott was like no, 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 no. My placard is right here. I know my spot. I'm right here. I'm right here. The, it's right there. Boom. It's right there. So, so you and you and. Oh, I don't give a damn about that. He know. He know. He know. He know. We go back. He know how you doing. All right, we got a big group photo. All right, let me go ahead and put my phone. I guess we'll snap this. Yeah, we go ahead and get that. What, you want me to airdrop? Have not. You want me to airdrop it to you? No, no, no. We got it. We got it. All right, folks, we're almost done. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Got to make it a brother bend down. And then all down the center here. Yeah, it's a couple of people. It's a couple. We good? We good? We good? Okay. I just need um, Regina and John. I got anybody else. Documentaries tonight. We're not doing documentaries. Right? I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Gotta, I don't know who he talking to. Everybody got to interview Regina. Oh well, well, I text her so. I understand. So I'm, you know. Everybody got to interview Regina. De see, that's what happens when you're not number one on the carpet. See, so you're trying to give directions. See, don't ain't don't see. He gonna get cut. Kevin gonna get cut. Kevin gonna get cut. <laughs> to the white. What burning magic to the white beat. <laughs> Who? Who, Kevin? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. What did where did John go? Did did really run off again? He 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 been he been running and running and running and running. I think this is another photo.
ladies. You know how awesome you are. And then ladies, you brought them back. Keep bringing it down to the left here. Thank you so much. Hold on, all three of you. As soon as she's done, you can see right here, ladies. You know how to get so royal. How to get dressed up for you? How to get dressed up for you? Yes. Well, I appreciate dressed up for Shirley. Uh, for you and Shirley. Okay. Okay. Uh, your sister said this has been a long road. This has been a journey. It is. It has been. It has been. But here we are. Why did you want to tell this story? Because too many people did not know who Shirley Chisholm was, who she is. Um, that she is a part of the fabric of America, uh, that so many uh, um, things that have improved our life over the past 40 years or so have been because of legislation that she put into effect, that she wrote up with people across the aisle. Um, so it's important. When did you first learn about it? You know, it's funny because Raina and I are four years apart and we went to different schools. I first learned about her probably in like the third or fourth grade. I was lucky enough to have a teacher during Black History Month that chose, Shirley was one of the people to teach about on one of the Black History Month days. And so we, we got a little two minute snippet of an introduction to Shirley. Then later on in life, our mother exposes to a bit more you know I, I think I, I left that uh, lesson with just knowing that she was the first black woman that was a congress woman and then my mother let us know about a little bit more and let me know that you were a year old when she ran for president and then we started doing our own research in our 20s and we're like we don't even know um, a lot about her yeah. Absolutely. We'll be from Texas. I know we know about Barbara Jordan, so yeah. now folks will know about Shirley Chisholm. Yes, absolutely. Always good to see you. Absolutely, darling. Yeah. Right, we'll chat later. Mm. Always, baby. Mm. Always. Thank you. You know it. Regina King, uh, amazing actress, but also director as well and producer. And so. I have something I want to tell you. I am running for president of the United States. Holy. I'm paving the road for a lot of other people looking like me to get elected. Brooklyn's first black representative. You're about to make history. You want to be president? You ain't no man. Maybe we should find your mother. All you got is your one vote. You sound just like every other politician. Do I look like every other politician? Freedom! Truly. You can't win. And why can't I win? I have an opportunity to make a difference. This isn't a campaign. It's a joke. The only thing anybody's going to remember is that there were a bunch of black folks who made fools of themselves. I'll kill you! See too much suffering. And I don't know how to not try. Will I think I'm special. I just want to remind people what's possible. We need something that's going to make some noise. The Black Panthers and Shirley Chisholm. It's like thunder and lightning. I'm going to force all the politicians to be held accountable. You're going to do all that. School teacher from Brooklyn. Harriet was just a slave. Rosa was just a domestic. What is it you do for a living again?